let's learn about the somatosensory system, which includes the sense of touch, temperature, and pain on the skin. Imagine you're sitting outside and a butterfly lands on your arm. What happens in that split second between when the butterfly lands on you and you notice that something is touching your arm? Let's take a look. When the butterfly lands on your skin, it exerts a little pressure on the skin surface, causing the dendrites of sensory neurons right under the skin to deform a little. This causes mechanically gated sodium channels to open in the dendrites, and the sensory neuron has a depolarizing graded potential. Let's say the grade potential is big enough to get the neuron to the threshold and an action potential is initiated. The action potential travels through the axon into the spinal cord and all the way up to the medulla oblongata in the brainstem. As you can see, the sensory neuron is quite long. In the medulla, the sensory neuron releases neurotransmitter onto the second order neuron, which crosses over to the other side of the brain and extends into the thalamus. Remember that the thalamus is an important sensory relay station. In the thalamus, a third order neuron is activated that sends its signal to the primary somatosensory cortex in the parietal lobe. Once the arm area of the somatosensory cortex is activated, you will perceive the touch and turn your attention to the lovely butterfly on your arm. All of this happens in that split second between when the butterfly lands and you sense the touch.